Hi guys, my name is Kate Doubler. I am the author behind the blog Real Food RN, a, a Young Living distributor, and I'm teaching an Essential Oils 101 class for you tonight. Um, I just wanted to do a little welcome video and let you know a little bit about myself if you're not familiar with who I am. Um, I'm first a mom of three. My kids are 6, 4, and 19 months. I am a nurse, a registered nurse. Uh, I've worked every area of nursing, everything from ICU, med surge, ER, you name it, I've done it. Um, I've seen a lot in my, my years. Um, once I had children of my own, I got a little bit nervous about all the chemicals that were in our home, like the toxic chemicals, and I started swapping out all of our home cleaners, all of our shampoos, anything that was a toxic chemical that I looked up online and saw that it was a hormone disruptor or, or a possible carcinogen, anything that I thought was going to be bad for my kids, I eliminated. And I started making cleaners with vinegar and baking soda and all kinds of different things. And then I discovered the world of essential oils. And I started adding those into our wellness regimen. And I was just shocked and amazed and so happy. Um, I used oils for years before I signed up as a distributor because I didn't know that you could actually turn it into a business. And when I signed up, I actually didn't have any intention to turn it into a business. I just wanted to get the discount on oils. But long story short, I have successfully been able to get rid of all of the toxic chemicals in our house and replace them with things that I've made with essential oils. And this is a big passion for me because I see such an increase in the level of sickness in our medical system. And I really believe that we live in a toxic world. We're not eating a very high quality diet. We're bombarded with toxins. And it's kind of become my mission to get the word out to help people change that because it's really not hard to do. I have a ton of recipes on my blog on how you can do this. And I just, it really, really fills me up when I hear people telling me that they've been making my cleaners and doing this and following my recipes and they've noticed changes in their health. That makes me so happy to know that those toxic chemicals, they became aware of them, eliminated them, and had a positive response as a result. So I'm making videos in essential oil classes so I can teach people, so I can hopefully make some kind of an impact on our state of health um, in this country. And I just really wanted to do a one-on-one -on -one class for you guys so you can learn how to use some of the basic oils, what exactly essential oils are, how long they've been around, um, the do's and don'ts and stuff like that. So it's a real basic class just to kind of get you started if you're curious about essential oils. Um, but yeah, we don't go a day without them. I use so many throughout the day, I've lost count, but um, I can't do without my oils. And I, I hope that you really take some value from this class as well. And uh, feel free to leave um, comments and questions in the comments below. And I hope you enjoy this class. All right, hello everybody. Um, welcome to my Essential Oils 101 class. Uh, first, I always have to start everything with a disclaimer. Um, I actually am a medical professional, but this is not to be intended to be taken as medical advice. This is in, this information is for educational purposes only. If you are on any prescription medication, always consult your doctor. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA and are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. However, I believe that when you give the body what it needs, the body can heal itself. A decision to use, not use this information is the sole responsibility of the reader and viewer. Views expressed in this presentation apply only to real food RN individual results may vary. So I believe that what you, when you give your body the support it needs, it can, it can heal itself. That's one of the things I'm the most passionate about is, is um, educating and empowering people to take their health into their own hands and seeing how amazing our bodies are and how our bodies know what to do if we just support their wellness. Um, so essential oils is about a lifestyle and strengthening the body through nutrition and the power of essential oils. When we do this, the body will take care of itself. We are about self-improvement and living life to the fullest. That's what D. Gary Young says. He is the founder of Young Living Essential Oils, and he's an amazing human being, I have to tell you. All right, let's get started here with what are essential oils. They are the volatile liquids meaning that they evaporate. So they are not greasy. They actually evaporate. If you leave the cap off your essential oil bottle and you leave it sit out, it will evaporate. Um, I have a hair um, conditioning spray that I use that I spray in my hair every single day and it, it does not make your hair greasy. These are not greasy, so it's wonderful. So they're extracted from trees, shrubs, flowers, stems, and seeds, and they are sometimes called the life force of the plant, which I truly believe. And they are the purest, most potent form of an herb. They, they last a really, really long time. Um, one drop of peppermint 
equals 26 cups of peppermint tea and 5,000 pounds of rose petals equal 2.2 pounds of rose oil. So these are really, really potent oils and that's why they are so effective in supporting our wellness. They are not new. Um, essential oils are, historically, they are the oldest form of quote-unquote medicine, that's what they referred to a long time ago, dating back to 4,500 BC. They have been mentioned over 180 times in the Bible, which is amazing. Uh, frankincense and myrrh are two that you've probably heard quite a bit about in the Bible. Um, in 1922, 122 liters of essential oils were found in King Tut's tomb. Uh, when they tested, they showed all chemical constituents, meaning that they were still just as potent as ever. Isn't that awesome? I mean, they're still effective. How many years later? I mean, many, 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 many years later. And there are over 14,000 references to essential oils in the National Library of Medicine. Uh, if you go to pubmed.gov, you can look that up. So that's really exciting, too. I love that it's out there. You just have to go and find it yourself. All right, the properties of essential oils. Um, they oxygenate the cell. They support the body's natural detoxification process. They make cells more permeable, defend against unwanted guests in our bodies. Some can cross the blood-brain barrier and are helpful for supporting all of the body systems, skeletal, muscular, cardiovascular, digestive, endocrine, nervous, respiratory, lymphatic, urinary, reproductive, and integumentary bodies, body systems, which is the skin. Each oil, just like every living thing, carries a scientifically measurable frequency. Essential oils have the capacity to raise your body frequency. The more you are applying oils on yourself and your family, the higher your body frequency and the potential for better overall wellness increases. So use them often for best results. So this is one of the big um, mistakes that people make is they will buy an essential oil and they'll put it on once and they'll say, well, this isn't working. These are something because they... they Get in and out of your body. I think it's like within 20 minutes, it cycles through all the blood cells in your body and everything. So you have to keep reapplying in order to get a really good result from it. And I have definitely noticed this. If I stick to using my oils with regularity, I definitely notice differences. Um, an example is frankincense really supports the skin. I use it every single day on my skin and it is nothing short of amazing. Um, I also use many, many more, but that one is probably the one I could never be without. Um, they also carry an antioxidant value. You'll probably see this called the ORAC, ORAC score. ORAC stands for Oxygen Radical Absorbance Capacity, which is basically the oil's capacity to inhibit free radicals. So free radicals are being created all the time by oxidative damage from stress, from environmental factors, from foods that we eat. So basically what the oils are doing is they're going in to kind of help negate that, that process and, and cancel out those free radicals, which is really great because that definitely supports our wellness. So when you think of an antioxidant, what do you think of? Blueberries, berries, things of that, that nature. Clove essential oil contains the highest ORAC value at over 1 million versus blueberries at 2,400. So that's pretty amazing. There's actually a, a supplement that Young Living has that's called Longevity. It's a cap, and I take capsule. I take that every single day. It has the highest ORAC oils in it, and it's phenomenal. Um, just as our bodies are constantly changing and adapting to the environment, so are the plants and thus essential oils adapting to the environment, weather, soil, and soil. This is the beautiful thing about therapeutic grade essential oils. They're always a little bit different and will vary batch to batch because they aren't made in a lab. And this is very true. If you find a brand of essential oils where every bottle smells exactly the same, that is a red flag that they have been chemically altered. So you do not want to get the the stuff from the co-ops and stuff because a lot of times they have synthetic stuff added in and if you have a company that's has this motto that they never ever run out of oils that's another red flag because Young Living tests and tests and tests it's the seed to seal process and if they have a batch that doesn't meet their standards they use it as like a pesticide or a weed killer or whatever on their future crops they don't distribute it to the consumers, which I think is amazing. So like Peace and Calming goes out of stock all the time. It's a very popular oil, but they want to make sure that they're putting the highest quality oils out there. So if you see those companies that say they never run out of oils, that, that's a red flag. So only 2% of all essential oils in the world are therapeutic grade. And that's what we're talking about tonight. And of course, I'm talking about Young Living. These are not the kind of oils that you will find at your local health food store or grocery store or what's the, sh the stuff that's on the shelves, I can't vouch for. So the, the therapeutic benefits I'm talking about today does not pertain to those oil companies. 
All right, so how can you use essential oils? Aromatically is one way. You can get a diffuser. Fragrance is the substance of memories. Aroba inhaled causes the olfactory bulb to send messages to the limbic part of the brain, which activates memories and emotions. And when inhaling, when inhaling, it takes 22 seconds for an oil to reach the brain. The only way to reach the limbic system is through smell, which is why oils are such a great option for those needing emotional support and support of their nervous system. Diffusing is another way we inhale. Point, so there's the diffuser. There, there's a bunch of... Um, they sell a whole bunch of different ones. My kids even have, my son has a dinosaur one, my daughter has a mermaid dolphin diffuser, and we put them on every night. They call them their confusers. It's really cute. So it purifies the air. It makes your home smell good without chemicals. Hello, former candle junkie. If any of you guys are candle junkies, especially during the fall when they have all those wonderful, like, pumpkin cinnamon bread scents and stuff, I'm telling you, there are some amazing diffuser blends that you can blend in the fall and the winter. They have Christmas spirit, which is just wonderful, and that definitely lists its memories. I only diffuse it during Christmas time, my favorite time of year, and when I'm um, I alphabetize my oils regularly, and when I'm going through them, I always open up that bottle and take a sniff, and it just transports me right to the Christmas season. So it's a very special oil that's very near and dear to my heart. Um, so yeah, they're wonderful to uh, uh, diffuse. Uh, I homeschool. I diffuse uh, brain power, rosemary, some good ones to kind of help with focus. They really do. I diffuse purification after I've made a meal that had like lots of garlic and onions to kind of calm down the scent in the room. It works like magic. Diffusing is I diffuse every morning. That's one of the first things I do when I get up in the morning is pick my oil of the morning, which is a lot of the times either some kind of conifer or an orange. I love orange. It's a very happy oil. So you can do a diffuser, you can just do, inhale it directly from the bottle, you can put it on cotton balls near air vents, you can do that in the hotel rooms, which is really great, you can do that in your car, um, you can place a drop in your palm, rub your hands together, that kind of activates the oil, I do this in the shower with eucalyptus, and then you just put your hands around your nose and you take a big inhale and it's wonderful. Um, you can apply them topically. Now, because of their molecular structure, they are rapidly absorbed by the skin, so it's really good to... Um, Put them on pulse points and stuff because they really get into your system. Um, I put them on the bottom of my feet, on pulse points, uh, behind my ears, on my neck, base of your skull. Peppermint feels really good on the back of your neck. Um, and you want to dilute them if you're using them on children. Uh, I encourage you to look up the dilution charts that they have online. Um, I do use essential oils on my kids, but I always dilute them. I put them in roller bottles with some coconut, uh, fractionated coconut oil carrier oil and I just roller ball. I have certain ones for different things and I just pull them out and rub it on their feet or wherever, their tummy or something. So it's wonderful. Um, there is also something called the Vita, VitaFlex chart. You can look that up. It shows where you can um, apply oils topically to support certain systems in your body. Um, internally, now we do have what's called the Vitality line, which is a new line of oils that is specifically um, labeled for dietary usage. Now these are the same oils like le lemon, for example. It's the same lemon, just regular lemon, and then lemon vitality. It's the same exact oil. It's just a different label. So don't be confused by that. It's just um, so that we can be compliant with the FDA regulations. So they have, I mean, there's oils in, like I said, the longevity tabs. It's in the Ningxia red juice that we enjoy, enjoy every single morning. Um, you can mix them in with a spoonful of honey if you don't particularly like the taste. You can put a drop under your tongue. I know I do that quite often. Um, this is a controversial topic. Some people say absolutely don't take essential oils in internally. Um, and some people swear by it every single day. I, I leave that up to you. Do your research and decide what works best for you and your family. So, safety tips. Never use essential oils in your eyes or your ears. Absolutely not. That is, that burns. You do not drop oils into your ears. If you want to put something into your ear um, to help support your ears, you can put it on a cotton ball and put the cotton ball in your ear, but never put them directly into your ears. And if you accidentally do get them into your eyes, uh, flush it with a carrier oil. Water actually drives essential oils deeper into the skin. That's why when you take a bath, they can be so therapeutic because it drives those oils in. So if you get it in your eyes, put some carrier oil. I always have coconut carrier oil on hand. You can use olive oil. You can use whatever oil. You can get a fatty oil, and that's going to pull that out of your eyes. So just be very careful. Um, if sensitivity occurs, dilute it with an oil. Follow the label usage instructions, uh, the outside label of every bottle has the usage instructions, aromatic, topical, or dietary. 
only ingest Young Living if you're going to ingest them. That's my recommendation um, because you know that they're therapeutic grade. You don't know what the ones at the store are. So if you're going to ingest them, make sure that you're getting a really high quality oil that has dietary recommendations. Um, and photosensi photosensitive oils too. That is like lemon and some of the citrus oils can actually make you photosensitive. So be very careful when you're using those topically and going out to the sun. Make sure you cover yourself up or don't go out in the sun for like 12 hours. All right. So with Young Living, quality counts. They have the seed to seal, which I was talking about. Um, that's their quality standard. Uh, you can go look that up, seedtoseal.com, I believe it is, and learn all about that. Um, Young Living has the industry, they've been the industry leader for over 20 years. I have been to the farms. They're amazing. They're phenomenal. They're so clean. They're so, everyone who works there is just happy. I mean, it's like unbelievable. You feel like you're in Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. I'm not kidding you. Like, you're like, why is everybody so happy? They really are. Kind of like Chipotle. Everyone's always happy at Chipotle and Trader Joe's too. I don't know. So, the seed to seal standards, they make sure that they have the proper species, the correct part of the plant. They use organic weed control done by hand, pest control, like I said, with the, the batches of oils that didn't pass their standards. They harvest at the appropriate time of year. They distill them promptly. First distillation only, distilled without chemicals. I mean, you should smell the distillery. It's unbelievable. And they do rigorous testing in-house and with third-party standards. So Young Living, they also own their own farms. I mean, you just go there and everything is just so wonderful. And I do love that I went to the lavender fields and there are weeds there. I think that's wonderful because you know what? That means they're not killing off everything with chemicals. There are weeds there and there are also beautiful lavender plants growing. I was in those fields with my baby. He was nine months old. I felt totally fine letting him crawl around down there. We were having a great time. It was, it was just amazing. All right, so let's get started with some of the oils that are the, the most popular that come in the uh, starter kits when you get a premium starter kit. Lavender. Lavender is the Swiss Army knife of essential oils. This was one of the first ones I ever used. It's amazing, very comforting, calming. I put it in the diffuser all the time. You can unwind by adding it to your bath. I put it in bath salts first and then add it in. You can use it on soothing your skin. Very good for after sun care. Um, assist the body with adapting to stress. It's just a wonderful. Always have lavender on hand and then go research it because <laughs> there's so many uses. It's unbelievable. Peppermint. Now, peppermint supports the gastrointestinal system. Like I said, none of these statements have been evaluated by the FDA, but it really does. I know if my stomach just feels grumbly and rumbly and just not right, rubbing a little bit of peppermint on my tummy with some ascent, with some carrier oil, oh, it's so soothing. I love to also put it on the back of my neck. Um, may support performance during exercise, and you can also add it to food. They have a peppermint vitality. I love adding it to my three-ingredient fudge recipe on my blog at realfoodrn.com. If you go there and look up three-ingredient fudge and put some peppermint in oil in there, it's pretty unbelievable. Um, and it also can be a great time for a cool, like a cooling spray, just some water in a spray bottle when you're out in the sun. Very, very refreshing. Lemon essential oil. Now, lemon is very uplifting. Um, I love to diffuse this one too. They also have a vitality. I have a lemon cookie recipe on my blog, a lemon cake cookie. It's grain-free, dairy-free. It's like a really low allergen, delicious recipe. Lemon essential oil is what makes that recipe pop. Um, it's also great for healthy skin. It aids a normal digestion. My husband likes to put it in his water, but you want to put it into a glass bottle when you do because it can degrade plastic and you don't want that getting into your water. It's a very potent oil. <coughs> Excuse me. Frankincense essential oil. Like I mentioned earlier, this is my favorite oil. This is a biblical oil. It's very calming and relaxing. I use it during meditation. Very good for emotional well-being. Includes the naturally occurring constituent alpha-pinene. Go look that up. You can type in alpha-pinene PubMed and find some studies. Um, apply topically. It, it is wonderful for the appearance of healthy looking skin. I add a few drops. I have a frankincense face cream recipe on my blog. That's one of my most popular recipes to date. Look that one up. Um, if we're out and about and I don't have that with, I always have frankincense with me. I'll just add a few drops of that to whatever moisturizer I have on hand and it's like magic sauce. All right, Copaiba. Copaiba promotes wellness. Uh, it's an important part of a daily health regimen. It includes the naturally occurring constituents beta carophylline and alpha humulene. <laughs> I think I'm saying those right. Like I said earlier, go look those up. I love looking these things up and getting the science behind them online. It's wonderful to see what these um, 
can support in your body. It also supports the body's natural response to injury. So if you have an injury, this really helps to support it. Um, I use it with Panaway. It kind of helps those two pair up really well and really, really support uh, physical discomfort. Purification. Purification, like I mentioned earlier, I love to diffuse if anything is stinky. My daughter had these shoes that she wears all the time and wore them out in the rain last week, and they just got this funky, like stunk up our whole shoe closet, really bad smell. I put two drops of purification in the shoes, and I set them outside in the sun, and they're like new shoes. It's unbelievable. I also apply this to... Um, dryer balls. We have these wool dryer balls because we don't use those toxic dryer sheets anymore. I put purification on dryer balls and throw that in with our laundry and it makes our laundry soft and it smells wonderful. So if you want to get rid of the toxic cleaners and detergents in your life like we have, that is a great way to keep your laundry smelling fresh without having to use any of that stuff. I also make my own laundry detergent as well. I have a recipe for that on my blog. So it just purifies and cleans the air and um, it has some more naturally occurring compounds. It's just a wonderful oil to, to make everything smell amazing. All right, next is Panaway. Like I mentioned with the Copaiba, this one is wonderful for comforting your muscles after exercise. I ran a half marathon last weekend and you better believe I had Panaway along with me and that was the first thing I was grabbing for as soon as I crossed that finish line. Uh, my kids definitely knew to bring that bottle to me. <laughs> it has a very stimulating aroma. It has wintergreen and it's very fresh. Um, it has some naturally occurring constituents in it. Um, it was created by Gary Young following a severe injury to the ligaments in his leg. It helps tension and discomfort, soothes the skin while providing comforting warmth to muscles after exercise. It has a warm but icy sensation when applied to the skin, and I can attest to that. We are a very active family. We always have Panaway on hand. They also have a, a Cool Azul, which is very similar, and a Cool Azul sports gel that is wonderful. I like to rub that on my feet. I'm a runner. Uh, my feet are a mess right now from the half marathon. I've been using a lot of these oils. I didn't wear socks. That was not a good idea. Um, all right, next oil is Thieves Essential Oil. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard of this one. It's a very, very popular oil. It's a blend of clove, lemon, cinnamon bark, eucalyptus, and rosemary. It supports a healthy immune function. Um, I love to have this one on hand during the fall season when everything starts getting colder up here in Minnesota. We start closing the doors. We're spending a lot more time inside crowded places. I diffuse this to help support our immune systems to keep us above the wellness line. So I also like to add a drop of it to a water bottle when I travel on a plane just because you're in a confined area with people and you don't know what's floating around in that air, you can add it to a tea. Uh, it makes a wonderful, it's, this is a great, like a fall flavor because it's spicy. The cinnamon bark is really good. And the clove um, may contribute to a wellness when taken as a dietary supplement. Supports oral health. I like to do oil pulling with coconut oil and I always add a couple of drops of thieves to it to support my oral health. It's a wonderful thing. They also have a collection, a Thieves line of cleaners, and I have every single one of these, except I have the different toothpaste. They have a, another one, uh, Aroma Bright. I have the Thieves Aroma Bright right now. Um, the mouthwash is amazing, wonderful to gargle with. The Thieves Household Cleaner is the only cleaner I use, and I have made cleaners. I have done so many different kinds of cleaners, and honestly, this is the best stuff I've ever used. It's unbelievable. Um, it's a concentrate, so you just diluted. It's like 30 to 1, um, and I just poured it into an old apple cider vinegar bottle and put a spray nozzle on top, and away we go. I've cleaned my car, like leather seats, windows, granite, black granite countertops. It doesn't leave streaks. This stuff is amazing, and I did a price comparison. It's way more inexpensive than any of those natural cleaners out there. I mean, it is unbelievable how inexpensive it is to use and how well it works. We always have the waterless hand purifier along in my purse. Um, they even have a little spray that you can, I spray the shopping cart handles and like movie, movie theater um, armrests and stuff like that. They have a dental floss, toothpaste, mouthwash, all this stuff. Foaming hand soap, we also have that. So the Thieves line is wonderful. If anything, I mean, this is like one of the most important things that Young Living has, in my opinion. All right, Digize. Digize is also another wonderful one to have on hand. It supports normal digestion. You can use it as a dietary supplement in water while traveling. If you have um, a tummy ache at all, this stuff really, really helps. I know there are some foods that I can 
that I eat that I know I shouldn't eat and then I eat them and my body just gets really upset with me. So Digize really helps to settle that down. It, it really provides a lot of digestive support. So get that one. It's very good. It, it's got a very powerful smell. It's got the ginger, anise, fennel, I mean peppermint, tarragon. It's got a lot of really powerful things in it. So it's, it's a powerfully smelling oil. All right, RC. Now this is another one that I had along on my half marathon last weekend. Um, it's wonderful for workouts. I rubbed it all over my chest, and my back, and my neck all over before I went uh, on my run. Um, you can rub it on your feet or chest before exercise to uplift, massage three drops on your feet before bedtime, or diffuse to create a comforting aroma. Um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful oil to have. Stress away. Stress away. I like to call this one mommy's little helper. This one smells amazing. It smells like a lime vanilla deliciousness, like the tropics. I'm actually trying to create a perfume with it, with some other citrus. I'm working on trying to get like a coconutty, I don't know. Stress away is like one of the main ingredients in it though. This one is great if you have a job or if you have kids <laughs> because it really, really does help just modulate that stress response. I have a roller top on mine and I roll it all along my jawline and my neck um, and I also diffuse it uh, when my kids are acting up. Lemongrass. So I'm going to try to go through some of these a little bit more quick so that for, for time's sake. So this may support a digestive system, supports overall well-being, enhances the flavor of food and water, it's purifying, it's an important ingredient in digize. Aroma Ease has a clean, nurturing aroma, provides comforting aroma when applied to the neck and chest, inhaled directly from the bottle or diffuser necklace when traveling. I have diffuser necklaces. I have many of them. I use them all the time. Um, orange, like I said, is a very happy oil. You can add it to water for a refreshing, delicious flavor. It includes the naturally occurring constituent limonene. Go look that one up. That's a powerful constituent. Go look that one up online, please. Um, uplifts the mind and body, cold compress from the rind. So it is not a heat processed oil at all. It's cold pressed. Tea tree. Tea tree soothes common skin irritations. I always have this one in my medicine cabinet for skin issues. I love it. It's wonderful. It helps beautify the appearance of skin. It does. And it also does have a very spa-like smell to it. Supports a healthy skin. I add it to my, my facial cleaner that I use at night, which is coconut oil, baking soda, and tea tree. I have a recipe for it on my blog. Um, it's just a wonderful cleaner. It's I don't even do the oil cleansing method anymore. I just use that. It takes off makeup, does everything. Citrus Fresh. This one smells wonderful. Creates a clean, fresh scent in any environment. Add to your laundry for a revitalizing aroma or your wool dryer balls. Maintains the experience. It, appearance of healthy toned skin. Maybe worn as a perfume or cologne, definitely, for sure. Very happy oil. Um, all right, so wellness, purpose, and abundance. That's what Young Living is all about. So they have a ton of things. I mean, it's just, it's not just oils. Like the Ningxia Red, that's that red bottle that's pictured there. We take that every single morning. It's their Wolfberry drink. It's It's got a lot of goodies in it. My kids request it every morning. We take it in little shot glasses. The Orange Blossom Face Wash is amazing. They have an art skincare line, Life 5, Inner Defense. I, like I said, I take longevity every single day. Um, wonderful, wonderful quality. I mean, there's so much quality and thoughtfulness and just testing and everything that goes into all these products. I mean, Gary Young develops the most amazing things and he's just truly passionate about it. I mean, he works on the farms all the time. He loves being right in uh, working with everybody. So it's really great company to have somebody who's so passionate about um, all of this stuff working behind it. All right. So this is how you get started if you want to get started. This is the Premium Starter Kit. And what you get with this kit is the Everyday Oils Collection, which just changed again. Um, it's basically the oils that I talked about. You're going to get like thieves and lavender and stuff like that. Um, but you get 11 bottles of oil. It's not samples. It's 11 bottles. Um, you also get samples of the Ningxia Red, two of those, uh, a roller filament so you can put a roller cap on. I highly recommend putting it on the Stress Away. And you also get a home diffuser of your choice. The kits start at 160 and go up from there, so you can get some really fancy diffusers. I have the area. I love it. It's the one with the glass bubble on top. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful diffuser. Um, so I highly recommend that. Um, and the starter kit has oils to support all of your body systems. So if you look at this, just getting that kit, you're going to have 
more than you need to get started using these to support your wellness. That's the wonderful thing about it. And then when you get the kit, you also get a 24% discount as a distributor. So you can sign up as a customer and get them at full cost, or you can sign up as a distributor and you buy a starter kit and then you get 24% off the oils, you get the whole kit, and then you don't have to, there's no obligation to buy every month or anything. It's kind of like getting a Costco membership. You pay the fee the one time and then you get the discount the whole year and you can go back and buy, order whenever you want. You don't have to order monthly. You can buy the kit and just be good with the kit or you can buy the kit and be like me, buy tons of oils every single month because you're completely addicted. They also have wonderful promotions every single month where you can get free oils. Um, if you buy a certain amount, you get all this free stuff. I've literally, I've gotten thousands of dollars worth of free stuff over the years. It's unbelievable how they do that. I don't know, I mean, it's like, this month they're giving away abundance. That's like one of my favorite oils. I for sure met the, the value to get that oil for free. And this is the picture of all the different premium starter kits. And these do change. Sometimes they add in more fancy ones, but as I'm recording this right now, this is what you get on the top left, that's the dew drop. Then the top right, that's the home diffuser. Then there's the bamboo below that. And then the area with the wooden bowl and the glow. It's just beautiful. It plays music. It's got lights. I love, it's so soothing. I love, 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 love that diffuser. Then there's the Thieves Premium Starter Kit where you get the whole line of Thieves products, which is great. And then the Ningxia Red Premium Starter Kit, so you get all the Ningxia stuff. So that's really great as well. So wrapping up this class, I hope I didn't get too lengthy and too wordy. I like to talk about my oils. Uh, I just want to say thank you for listening and for tuning in. Um, if you're interested in getting started with essential oils, I would love to have you sign up under my sponsorship. I always encourage people to sign up under whoever introduced them to the oils. Um, but if you have not been introduced by anybody else, I would love to have you on my team. You can just go to www.realfoodrn.com forward slash EO for essential oils. And you can it directs you how to sign up there. I also have a video showing the premium starter kit unveil. Uh, where I open up the premium starter kit and show you exactly what's in there so you can see for yourself. Um, just a little bit more information on there. I also have a 21-day email course that you can find the link to sign up for that where you go into even more detail on how to use the oils. And I also have a Facebook group um, that's just ded dedicated to oil usage. Um, and if you want to join that, you can find, I think I have a link on the page. If not, you can just email me, kate at realfoodrn.com, and I can add you in that group. It has 13,000 people and counting. We just talk about oils. It's a wonderful place to be. Um, so I just want to thank you very much. I would love to have you join me. And also, as a PS, um, if you wanted to pursue this as a business, which I had never intended to do, I signed up to get the discount and ended up turning it into a wonderful business that was able to bring me down to casual at work and now I can be home with my kids. So it's a really, really great thing and I have created all the resources that you would need to have a wonderful business because when I started I did not know what I was doing so I put a lot of systems in place, I'm a systems gal, and I have created all of those for my members, um, class notes, slides, all sorts of things, anything that you would need to teach a class, either in person or online or on Facebook or um, on social media or whatever you want to do to share the oils. I have created all the information that you need. Um, I also have a private business support group for my business builders as well as our Revolution Oils team, which is a larger group. And there are so many people in there from all walks of life. Um, some people aren't online at all. They do it all just classes out of their home. Some people completely do it online. Everyone's doing it differently, but we all have the support of each other. And it's really great because you can say, hey, I'm doing a trade show this weekend. Has anybody done this? And a whole bunch of people will chime in with all these tips. So you're, you're fully, fully, fully supported. And it's the most amazing, wonderful business. I've honestly met some of my best friends in the world that I never would have met if it wasn't for this business because they live in other parts of the country and other parts of the world. And it's just, oh, I just get goosebumps when I talk about it. It's, it's changed my life. So um, I would love to have you on the business side if you would like to do that as well. But I am going to end this class now and thank you so much for tuning in. Hi again. So I hope you enjoyed this class. Um, I tried to make it as basic and understandable as I could so that you could kind of just understand the basics of where they come from, how we use them, and some of my favorite oils. And I would love to have you 
join our team, sign up with a kit if you are interested. Um, if you get three friends to sign up under you, the cost of their kits actually covers the cost of your kit. So if you know three people that you think might be interested in essential oils and you can get them signed up, you can get your entire kit for free. So that's a pretty good deal. I did that personally and thought that was pretty awesome. I was pretty proud of myself. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the class. I hope that you found this information valuable. Please share with friends and family. I would love to see every home in this world get rid of the toxic chemicals so we can vote with our dollars and make those manufacturers go to business and we can have clean homes that support our wellness and that keep us healthy together as a family. So I hope you enjoyed class and I'll see you on the internet. Mm -hmm.